In this last example, we're going to differentiate uh, this function and then find the equation for the tangent line where x is 4. Now, it doesn't matter whether I'm going to use the quotient rule or the product rule. If I see root of x, I'll write it as x to the power of a half before I differentiate. Now, this is a quotient, so I will use the quotient rule here. And the quotient rule says this. Remember, the denominator times the derivative of the numerator. Now, the derivative of 2x to the half, we use power rule. A half comes down and multiplies by 2, so a half times 2 is 1. So that's why it's a coefficient of 1 here. And then we subtract 1 from the exponent. A half minus 1 is negative a half minus the original numerator times the derivative of the denominator. The derivative of x to the half is a half x to the negative half, just using the power rule. And then over the original denominator squared. Now, when we go to simplify this, when you're multiplying two powers with the same base, you add the exponent. So a half and negative a half adds to zero. That's where that x to zero comes from. The rest of this comes from expanding this into the brackets here, distributive law. So if I multiply this half x to the negative a half by that 2x to the half. Uh, we're multiplying the 2 by the half. So 2 times a half, that's actually going to give 1. And then I add the exponent. So I'm adding positive a half and negative a half. I get x to the 0. So this is actually 1. You get 1x to the 0. And uh, that means it's minus. So that's where the minus x to the 0, the second one, comes from. Now the last term comes from expanding this and multiplied by the negative 1. And of course this changes the sign again when you take the brackets off. So that's why it ends up being positive a half x to the negative a half. Now these uh, x to the zeros um, are the same. So we'll subtract them and they're gone. So we really just have this left. Now there's an exponent of 1 here and uh, 1 of course is the same as 2 halves to get a common denominator. So we're actually dividing. Remember, that's what that horizontal line means. So to divide, you subtract the exponents. We've got negative a half minus two halves in the bottom, which of course is negative three halves. So that's the exponent of my x when I write it as one single power of x. So I get one half x to the negative three halves. And I would not normally want to write uh, uh, a rational exponent and also not a negative one. So I would normally write this as 1 over 2. So there's the 1 half, 1 over 2. The 2 here means the square root of, and it would be x to the power of 3. So that's my derivative. Now since we have an x in the denominator, uh, x can't have a value of 0 because then the, the denominator would have a value of 0 and we'd be dividing by 0 and you can't do that. So that's why x cannot equal 0 is a restriction on this derivative. Now we're not substituting, trying to substitute 0 in place of x, we're substituting 4. So I'm going to put 4 in place of x. So 4 cubed is 64. Take the square root and you get 8. Multiply it by 2 and you get 16. So 1 16th is the slope of our tangent line. Now, in order to find the equation of the tangent line, I need the y value. So I'm going to substitute 4 back in the original function. 2 root 4 minus 1 over root 4. Root of 4 is 2 times 2 is 4. Minus 1 would be 3 in the numerator, and the root of 4, of course, is 2 in the denominator. So the y-coordinate is 3 halves. So in my point-slope form of equation, I'm going to put the 1 16th in place of m. That's my y, and of course, x1 is 4. So I would expand the 16th in here. A 16th x times x is 16th x. And a 16th times negative 4 is this. We've got 1 16th times negative 4. Of course, that's the same as negative 4 over 1. So multiplying the numerators, you get negative 4 on the top, and 16 times 1 is 16 in the bottom, and that will reduce to negative a quarter. So that's where the negative a quarter comes from. Now, uh, I wanna, I'm wanna. i just going to leave it in y equals mx plus b form, so I'm going to bring this 3 halves over and we'll be uh, adding it to the negative a quarter. Now, I want to get a common denominator, so uh, the 3 halves, I multiplied it by 2, top and bottom, to get a common denominator, because if I multiply the bottom by 2, that's where that 4 comes from. Multiplying the top by 2, that's where the 6 comes from. So 3 halves, same as 6 quarters. 
So negative a quarter and six quarters, of course, is five quarters. So y equals the 16th x plus five quarters is the equation of our tangent line.